Okay, this is going to be my Young Moms Unite um, fourth video. It's four, right? Um, on government assistance. Um, as you guys can tell, I've been doing these back to back tonight. Um, I'm trying to get as caught up as I can, like I've been telling you. So, I just dropped something. Um, so, anyway, I want to get started. Okay, government assistance. I do receive. Um, a few forms of government assistance, but before I tell you what those are, I'm going to tell you how I feel about government assistance. Obviously, I'm not against it because I use it, um, so <laughs> that's uh, definitely not how I feel, but um, I do have an opinion on government assistance. I do not believe that government assistance is something that should be used as um, permanent forms of income or it shouldn't be anything permanent. I think that when you get on government assistance it should be for a temporary or short amount of time and it is only when you need it. When you don't have the money to get to a certain point to afford food or to afford health care or anything like that you should be able to get it that's perfectly fine I do not frown upon that I do however frown upon the people that are perfectly capable of getting up getting a job and providing for their family that is what you should be doing you should not be getting up and going down to the welfare office to get a check um, because you don't feel like working or because you are addicted to drugs or alcohol or you just I don't know I don't know what the heck these people that sit on welfare I don't I don't know what their problem is but it's a problem and I don't care if anybody has anything to say about what I just said that is the truth that is why we are in so much debt now and that is what's wrong with America today. People do not want to work. Kids do not want to stay in school and get and graduate from high school or get a degree. They don't want to. They want to play sports and hope they get lucky or get a record deal that's not going to happen or they want to sit around at their mom's house and play video games and smoke weed all day. That's what they want to do with their lives. They don't want to go out and do what they're supposed to do. They want to screw up and mess around. And that's what's more important. And then when it comes time that they're 30, 40 years old and playing video games and sitting on your mom's couch is not getting you anywhere, they go down to the welfare office and complain about how they can't afford food and they can't afford and they don't have a cell phone so they get the free phones and they you know all this other stuff they could oh they don't have health care because they don't have money to afford health care but instead of sitting on your butt and playing video games you should be going out and getting some kind of job or some kind of education I don't you know in that way you can afford food and a phone and health care and if you're even lucky, if you get a good job, they provide health care for you. So, um, yeah, why don't you do that instead of going out to the welfare office and complaining about what you don't have when you are perfectly capable of doing it yourself? The people that abuse the system, I have no respect for, and I frown upon. And I think it's absolutely despicable that there are people out there that are willing to take from the people that actually need it and put it into the hands of people that are more than capable of getting it. If I could honestly, if I was in the position where I could work, go to school full time, and take care of a child, and I could afford to take care of my child, and put food on the table, and health care, and all that other stuff, then I would do so. And I would, and even if it took me, you know, eight hours, nine hours, ten hours, eleven. 12 hours a day, I would get it done because it's what needs to be done. But I can't take care of a child, go to school full time, and afford to do all of those things. So therefore, I need a little bit of help. But I guarantee you, by the time I get out of college and I start working, my son will be off Medicaid, I will not be on WIC anymore, and I will not have to worry about where my son is getting his formula 
his food or his diapers or whatever. I will not have to worry about it. And I don't want to have to stress over that. I, I don't. But those people that are disabled, sick, you know, they lost their job, they're looking for another job, but they're just not, you know, the people that are trying to get and make a life for themselves and aren't in that position quite yet, those people deserve it. The people, you know, the, you know, the families, they get up there on like NBC, you know, nightly news or whatever, and they're up there and they're looking, you know, guys lost their jobs. They had, you know, like six figure salaries going up there working every day, all day, corp, you know, good jobs that had, you know, all the bells and whistles that came with it. And they were providing for their families. And then all of a sudden, when the economy went bad, they lost their job. And now they're looking for one. They can't find one. The people with the degrees can't find jobs. Those are the people that need government assistance, not the people out here using their unemployment to buy liquor and using food stamps as their permanent source of groceries and Medicaid because they don't want to go out and get a job to afford health care like they don't want to do that they want to live off the government and it's a problem and I don't agree with that at all I agree with the people that need the help deserve the help and if you're eligible to get up get a job then that's what you need to do you need to get off your ass and get a job and you need to look for a job and you need to make that a possibility but you need to try you can't just expect it to come to you because that's not how it works but anyway that's my little thing about that and it really irritates me um anyway if you heard me mention in that whole thing i just said um, I mentioned that he is on Medicaid. Uh, Jaden does have Medicaid as his health insurance, and I have WIC. That is the only two forms of government assistance I receive. I don't receive food stamps. Um, I don't need food stamps. Um, I am fortunate enough that my parents do make enough money to put food in the house. I do live with my parents, so um, that's not a problem. I don't go hungry, and I don't go without anything and I'm very fortunate that I'm in that situation I know other people aren't as lucky and um, I totally support the people that go out and try to get into the position where they don't have to go without anything and those are the people I have the most respect for and those are the people who I want to succeed the most um, but like I said I am very fortunate to be in the situation I'm in but however I get WIC because formula and everything else is expensive and I don't have the money to pay for it every month so WIC is helping me tremendously Medicaid um, I cannot afford health care on by any means so he will be on Medicaid until I can get a job that um, has health care has a health care plan or until I can afford to um, until I can afford to pay for um, a health care plan on its own. Um, until then, Jaden will be on Medicaid. Um, but I do plan on going to college, getting a degree, and getting a job to pay for all of those things. And um, I don't want my son to go without anything, so um, I will do my best to get to the point where... Uh, what's wrong, baby? To get to the point where... Um, I am comfortable with uh, financially and um, I don't have to worry. So that's how I feel about government assistance and that is the government assistance I have. Um, and that's that. So um, if you guys feel any kind of way about what I just said, um, I don't really care for negative comments, um, but if you feel some kind of way, uh, feel free to say what you want to say. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to care or respond, but I'm entitled to my opinion that I just shared with you guys, and you are entitled to your opinion, and I'm entitled to not care about it.
So just like you guys are more than entitled to not care about mine, but that is how I feel. And that is the situation me and him are in. And it um, is going to change in the future. I can't say it's going to happen necessarily very soon, but it will happen. So um, that is my video on government assistance. All right. Bye, YouTube.